Okay, got my meter here, and uh, I have a blown fuse in my uh, milliamp jack, so I'm going to show you guys how to change a fuse out. Uh, first, let me show you how to check a fuse. Uh, one test you can do is if you put your meter on volts and you unplug this and you stick it in the jack see how it makes that noise that tells you your fuse is good if you notice when I put it in this one I have no noise so I have a blown fuse there fuse good bad fuse so what I'm going to do I'm going to unplug all this and I'm going to turn it off I'm going to take uh, this cover off it's I mean it's just my little rubber cover and just pop that out like that you set this aside for now then you flip your meter over and you'll notice there is a, a flathead screw here a flathead screw here and a Phillips head here first thing I'm going to take off these two flatheads there will be a 9 volt battery in there and there's also two more screws you got to get to so you pop this off pop this off and kind of got to give it a little kind of a stubborn stubborn thing take it and uh, it's kind of stubborn okay pop this cover off now you see now there you see the 9 volt battery here now there's a screw here a screw here and a screw here you gotta take out I'm gonna go ahead and take take this battery out Oops. take the battery out set it aside okay now I'm going to take the three screws out. Let's just take these three out. Just going to set my screws inside here. Now here comes the hard part. If you notice down the middle, there's a gasket. It goes all the way around. And in order to get this apart, you got to pull really hard like that. It's kind of hard to get. Sometimes it Once you get that going, maybe you could uh, slide the screwdriver down. Even then, see, it's a pain. Ugh. Stupid thing. You just gotta keep working at it. Screwdriver going. And you work your way down. Eventually, you pop it out. Be careful with the this part and this part. Lay flat. 
Now, if you notice, here is your fuses. You have, uh, see if I can zoom in here, see how this fuse says fuse DMM11A. And this this one's for your uh, it's 11 amp that's for your 10 amp jack this one's like 400 milliamps this one's for this jack so what I do is I grab a screwdriver and kind of pry on it like that now you see this one says I don't know if you can read that, but it says DMM44100. And here is my replacement fuse. It's the exact same fuse. See, it says the exact same one. Now, also, let me show you guys this. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you see right here, there's a little writing. Now this one says uh, notice how this says 44 dash 100 amp just like that one does four four dash 100 amp you can't really see the stupid thing but I don't know how well that's Anyway, writing's right there, so it actually tells you what goes where, so you can't mess it up. And I guess suppose you still can, but anyway, this one's the blown one. And I'll show you when I replace it how how it how it works. Uh, I'm gonna get my new fuse, and easiest way is just to hold this up like that. And you just snap it in like so. Done. Done deal. Now I'll show you this fuse. This this one's uh this one's uh let me get this one out the same way you just kinda pop it out. This one's a good one. But if you look here, there right there says F1000 volt uh, 1000 1000 volt F11 amp so you just want to make sure you don't put that one in there or that one in there and they're labeled so you you, you know should be able shouldn't be able shouldn't mess it up but I was just taking that out to show you so put this one back in, you just snap it in, snap everything in, okay. Now this piece is ready to go back on the cover, put the cover on, like so. Make sure this is pushed down nice and neat, so you're not going to crimp anything. Try to get that gasket to lay straight. You just snap it down. Okay. Snap this down. Check your lines. It looks pretty good. You take your screws. You can screw these back in. Get them all started. make them too tight just nice and snug
I'm ready to stick my battery back in. Okay, push that in. Now you're ready to uh, throw this part in. Cover. Push that down, and you're done. Now I just gotta put my put my cover back on. I'm gonna stick it in this way. Should be good. That's good. That one's good now.